The crooked little path begins at the edge of the woods and winds among the trees far into the green forest to the great mountain. It makes sudden bends this way and that way. It twists and turns around stumps and big rocks. It climbs little hills and runs down the other sides. It clambers over old logs and fallen trees. It loafs along the bank of Laughing Brook and skips across on stepping stones. It squeezes between close-growing trees and hides beneath overhanging ferns. It tries to lose itself in thickets of young evergreens. It grows faint along open stony ridges and recovers in sunny hollows. It wanders over hill and down dale, seemingly without purpose, yet always leading from here to there, and is beloved by all who follow it. Many feet have made and are still making the crooked little path. Some are big feet, some are not so big. Some are tiny, some are padded and soft. Some are hard, sharp-edged, and without toes. Some are horny, having widespread toes. Some have long, sharp claws. Some have short, stout claws. Some are shod with leather, for the crooked little path is sometimes used by man. Some of those many feet move slowly with many stops. Some shuffle. Some bound along with quick jumps, and some hop. Some walk without haste, some trot lightly, some run swiftly, and some tiny ones seem to dart along the crooked little path. Some use it daily, and some only now and again. Some follow far along its crooked length, and some keep to it for but a little way. Some there are that tread it boldly, and some with stealth and secrecy. And watchfulness and courage pass along the crooked little path or pause beside it, or fly above it. Stout oak trees drop acorns in it, and the sweet three-sided little beech nuts hide under its carpet of fallen leaves. Madame Orb, the spider, spreads her wondrous net of shining silk across it to be filled with the sun-jeweled drops of dew in the early morning and later catch a heedless fly. The black shadows coming out from the purple hills veil it in a soft dusk in the early evening. Later moonbeams coming down between the treetops search for it and find it in places to lose it again as clouds begin drifting interference. The merry little breezes dance along it by day. And after dark, the wandering little night breezes follow it with messages for furtive folk and timid folk. It holds the secrets of the many in fur and feathers, and of some with neither. In summer it loiters through dusky dells to listen to the martin song of the hermit thrush, and the vesper melody of the wood thrush. In winter it holds its way despite the fury of the rough brother north wind and the bitter cold of Jack Frost. It could tell, if it would, of funny things and wonderful things, and beautiful things and dreadful things that it has known. It has seen many come and go, some never to return. It welcomes the stranger and it speeds him on his way. So the crooked little path shows the way to all who live in or visit the green forest and is beloved by them. crooked little path shows a way through the green forest. If you be light of foot, keen of eye and ear, quick of understanding and soft-spoken, it will lead you to pleasant adventures and happy living.